Martin Tybora has just beaten Taitui Vasa in the first round via submission. And yeah, honestly, um, I, I think we all expected a first round finish either way. Uh, Martin Tybora is able to get right back onto winning ways, gets a win over Taitui Vasa, and that is his fourth loss in a row, all by finishes as well. So. Ah, uh, it's not going well for Tai Tuivasa whatsoever at the moment. But he actually started this fight quite well on the feet. Um, he, he was getting the better of the exchanges on the feet, uh, to be fair, of um, uh, of March and Tybora. Uh, Tuivasa was really going for it, landing some big shots, trying to go, trying to throw some big head kicks. But eventually, uh, March and Tybora was able to uh, get the takedown, which he was struggling to get. Tuivasa was holding up for a bit, but eventually was able to get that takedown, uh, destroying him with some massive punches on the ground. And Tuivasa was just not defending himself whatsoever. Then Tybora was eventually able to turn that into a rear naked choke. Um, got that. Tuivasa was holding on for quite a bit. Uh, I wouldn't really say he was trying to break out of it. He wasn't. He was just trying to survive, but there was nowhere near enough time. Um, he was smiling a bit while he was in the show, showing that he was all right with his thumb up, but then eventually he was choked out, put to sleep. And Martian Taibora is the winner in the first round. So, yeah, interesting to see what's going to be next for both guys, to be fair. Uh, tied to Ivasa, who knows what's going to be next for him, but that is not good for him whatsoever. That is not good for Tai to Ivasa whatsoever. And it's a shame because, yeah, Tai to Ivasa is a massive fan favorite. Uh, in that heavyweight division. Uh, lots of people really do like Tai Tuivasa, but that puts him in a really, really, really bad spot now. I mean, it's a shame because, you know, Tai Tuivasa was doing well. He was on a good, solid win streak. Now he's on a massive four-fight losing streak now, Tai Tuivasa. So who knows where Tuivasa goes from here now? He's just getting, I mean, you know, Tai Tuivasa in his losses, you know, he does have moments a bit, but like, you know, he had moments against Cyril Garn, got destroyed by Pla uh, by uh, Pavlovich. Um, who, who was he? Who, who else was it he fought? Was it Spivak or something who he fought? Uh, and then he fought Volkov, uh, lost to Volkov. Um, oh, wait, no, it was Cyril Garn. It was Cyril Garn. Then it was... Um, it, it was Cyril Garn. Then it was Pavlovich. And then it was Volkov, and then today it was uh, Tybora. That was it. Um, so yeah, four losses in a row for um, for Tai Tuivasa. It's just not. It's just not good for him whatsoever. And it's going to be hard to see where he goes from here, though. Like, could we see him rematch Derek Lewis at some point? Uh, obviously, he's already got to win over him, but would we see that? Could we see Tai Tuivasa fight? Uh, Johnson Almeida. I mean, I don't want to see Almeida fight in the UFC again after. It's just the most boring heavyweight to watch. Jesus Christ. Um, does he fight, I don't know, Delima? Who who does he fight? Who could Tai Tuivasa fight? Um, I think it's, um, I don't know. I, I think it's a real tough one. Like, could Tai Tuivasa actually fight someone outside of the top 15 now? Because... Just, just to get back onto any records. Because, you know, Tai Tuivasa now fighting the top 15 isn't going well for him. He's got four losses in a row. Is this where Tai Tuivasa does go and fight someone outside of the top 15? Who knows? But, yeah, now Martian Taibora, obviously round number 10, he's going to be moving up. Who does he fight next? Could he fight, like, Sergei Spivak, something like that? Could we see Taibora and Curtis Blades? I don't know. I, I know, possibly Aspinall and Blaze gets a shot because John Jones is fighting Stipe. Um, I know, there's some interesting fights for Tybora. There's some interesting fights for Tybora. Rosenstrike, could it be that fight? I don't know. But Tybora is certainly an interesting one. He is. He's, he is always in a good scrap, Tybora, to be fair. Um, I mean, most of the heavyweights are. They're always in an absolute war. But... Yeah, look, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next for Tybora. But let's be real, though. If Tybora fights someone above him, let's be real. Tybora, he loses He he loses to Spivak. He probably lose to Almeida. The uh, Almeida just lying on him. Um, he'd probably lose to Volkov. Um, he'd lose to Blaze. Stipe, who fucking knows with Stipe. He'd lose to Pavlovich. 
Um, he'd lose to Garn, he'd lose to Aspinall, he'd lose, he, he'd lose to Jones. Um, yeah. I, I'm i not sure if if uh, Tybora actually beats too many guys above him, to be fair, at this moment in time. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he does. Um, but... I don't know. Like, like we know for a fact he'd give it his all and he'd be in a good scrap no matter who it's against. But I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's going to be interesting to see. But it's a big win here. Possibly Tybor is able to build some big momentum off of it. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, big win for um, for Martian Tybora. Needed that win today. Got it. Fair play to him. And yeah, just, just made it look simple in the end. Just made it look simple in the end. Just had to get through the adversity of uh, at, at, at the start of, you know, getting the fight off of the feet, take it to the ground. And yeah, Tybor is easily able to choke out to Ivasa. There we go. Anyway, and just dominates him on the ground. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Chaos Boots on a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace.